Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Yu Binosa, international referee. Second referee is Chofer Educato, national referee. Let's call on the starting lineup for our Philippine Air Force Airmen. Outside spiker number seven, team captain, airman, first class, lab, labrador. Middle blocker number one, airman, Ralph Kalasin. Middle blocker number five, Kyle Ramones. Opposite spiker number 15, airman, second class, Primo Rueca. Setter number 17, airman, first class, Jesse Lopez. And outside spiker number 18, airman first class, Edwin Tolentino. Starting the battle is number four, airman first class, Philip Nunez. Sitting in as head coach for the airman is Sergeant Jeffrey Malapanan. And now the starters for the Kabuya Stars men's volleyball. Outside spiker number three, Owa Ramilo. Middle blocker number seven, Gab Maxino. Middle blocker number 15, Mike Toria. Outside spiker number 16, Sauri Soriano. Opposite hitter number 19, Dom Panganiban. And starting setter number 23, Echo Adahar. Starting the battle is their team captain number 12, Aldrin Centeno. And the head coach for Kabuya is Christian Antiporta. On your screens are the starting lineup for your Philippine Air Force Airmen. We got Rueca Calasin, Labrador Nunez, Lopez Ramones, and Tolentino. Of course, headed by uh, Jesse Lopez, their captain and leader inside, the playmaker. For your Cabuyao cab stars, we got Magsino, Ramilo, Adahar, Panganiban, Soriano, Doria, and Centeno. So it's basically a setter versus setter game today. Yes. Adahar being the number fourth setter and number three in serving so far. Now I'm curious, Z, on what the strategy is for both of the setters. Yes. Air Force coming from a loss, I'm sure they want to mm. try and get that momentum. Right, for sure. And uh, let's see, as we mentioned earlier, this is going to be a game between the veterans and the neophytes. Can I just say I miss seeing the Air Force team, both men's and women. So it's always so good to see them, you know, yep. playing and uh, still playing. Yes. As, as um, we highlighted, Ran Ran Nabila being uh, with the Air Force for eight years already. The OGs are the still OGs, there. Yes. And they're fighting. They're not just participating. They're here to dominate. That's the first serve by Lopez. But uh, Ramilo. Ramilo scoring 11 points in their last match. It's very important that the blocking is stabilized yes. on the side of Air Force. Again, uh, Air Force 1-1 one, one so far. First ball is a challenge here for the airmen. Nice block there, and it's a block kill. Going for that back quick attack. The blocking of Air Force was stabilized in that rally. It's important that there is coverage. Definitely in their last match against uh, San Beda University, reception has been an issue. So we'll see how they uh, make a solution for that as once again uh, a successful uh, attack here for the Capstars. Maxino with that be quick attack. The, the rallies, it's only the start and it's very fast. <laughs> yes, very in theme sa men's division now. Yes. Walang rallying nagaganap. <laughs> Service ace there for the Cab Stars. Ramilo, two points so far here. It's a great serve. Targeting the Libera at that. Okay, better pass there. One handed set. Coverage was there, but not enough to be controlled. Cab Stars with that effective blocking early on in this first set. 
good read there by the yes. blockers as well. Rueca with a push. Libera was there. Rebound. Great dig there. Little offset. Ball still alive. Hindi lalapag ang bola dito <laughs> para right. sa Cab Stars. Rueca, check ball. But Ramilo was there. Out of system. A little push there by Soriano. Wow. Valentino. One of the OGs targeting that down the line. We see various attacks either cross cross court, no drop ball yet, but yes. being effective for that down the line. More variations are coming yes. from uh, the cab stars so far. Nice serve there. Ooh. It was already on the way yes. out, but going out. Last minute decision there. Giving an ace to Halasin, who's still on the line to serve. And I remember, Z, if it's above your shoulders, just let, let it, it go. go. Yep. <laughs> Same target, but better pass there. Soriano with the push. Easy pickup. Jesse goes back row. Free ball. Tolentino gets a check. Soriano asks for a check ball. Let's see what first referee Yule says. And yes, there was a touch point for Cabuyo Cab Stars. The block was a little bit late for Air Force targeting that cross court attack. Good pass there. Lopez goes back there. Oh, wow. Ball still alive. Tolentino with a subtle push. Easy pickup. And a block. <laughs> it's a great Edwin, block. <laughs> Edwin Tolentino being present in all departments so far here at the first set. Have to give credit to the defense. Very scrappy defense yes. by both squads. You got Moy Rueca. Good pick up there, pushes it to Tolentino once again. Power spike this time through the block. Tolentino targeting through the hands rather of the block of Cap Stars. Great swing. Scored 11 points in their last match. We are at a deadlock, but yes. <laughs> I have said that too early. <laughs> Free point there for the Cap Stars. We got Panganiban to serve. Over serve or overpass rather. Tolentino tries this once again. Soriano with that pass. Overset. A joust there. And uh, Tolentino just racking up points after points. The set was a little too tight, Z, yep. in that rally by the libero. Almost giving a free point to yep. their opponent. Okay, you gotta tell us, ano ba dapat yung classing set kapag out of system? It should be very high and not too on the net because, okay. you know, you have great blockers on the other side and ah. it's coming from a break ball, right? So you don't want to have it, you don't want to be trapped. Okay. Gotcha. So, because nga naman naka-establish na yung blockers yes. if it's out of system. So the blockers can definitely tell where the set's going. That's right. But look at this. Even if the blockers are established, Oriano still found a way to get that point and uh, with that serve as well. Wow. Labrador. Soriano with that push. Lopez gives it to Labrador once again <laughs> and gets blocked. That's a great block on the side of Cap Stars. They kind of need to get their momentum rolling. Yeah, for sure. And uh, that's it. That's our first technical timeout. We'll be back.
Z and Jamie, I got to talk to Ran Ran Abdilia, the top gun you were talking about a while ago, who is currently number four in scoring and also in spiking. And he told me that despite him being with the airmen for eight years, you can see in their past games, they are having a bit of a hard time laps-wise. And he shared to me that his core teammates from years back were assigned to different units in the Air Force and could not go back to playing. That is why there's a bit of gelling still going on. For today's game, kikilangan nandaw nila ng magandang service receive and get that solid blocking they've been training towards. Let's not forget to answer the poll. Back to you, Z and Jamie. Thank you for that uh, insight, Alexis. We were just talking uh, before we went on air. It's you. We usually see Jesse Lopez and Ran Ran Abdilia playing together as a tandem in yep. beach volleyball. So it's cool to see them now in the indoor yes. arena. That's right. So talagang uh, institution na yan ng volleyball, itong si Ran Ran and si Jesse Lopez. They come in a pair. Yes. <laughs> They're a package deal. 7-9. <laughs> we got Ramones to serve. Ooh, they're too strong on that one. You know, it's important to lessen these unforced errors, Z, especially even if we're not even nearing the 20 mark of the first set. You don't want to give free points to your opponent. Especially that the story is that they need this win. Yes. To have a better uh, standing in Pool B. Once again, only two teams each pool will uh, advance to the quarterfinals, so each game is very important. Kalas in there, but it was blocked, blocked again. Tolentino. Ooh, just missed that <laughs> pendant light here at Baco Arena. Boss Alive Lopez gives it to Labrador, checks it out. Point, Air Force. That's a great swing, checking out the opponent of a cap star. That's a great set also by Jesse Lopez. Not too high, not too low, just right on target. And you definitely using the hands of, her, of his blockers that time. Ooh, nice anticipation there by, once again, Labrador getting that kill block. At the heart, going for that one-two play, but it was a little bit too evident that he was going for that one-two play. Great read on Air Force. Especially, dalawa lang yung spikers yes. sa harap. So, True. yung mga ganong bag, how crucial is it to always like say how many spikers you have in the front? It's very crucial because when you have three, sometimes you don't want to give that one-two play. Okay. It also just depends on the defensive pattern of your opponent as well. I see. Oh, again, uh, reception. Overpass there, Amilo. Ball still alive. Set there to Labrador who just tosses it over. Great running there, but was blocked. Soriano from the back. Still in play. And Roweka ending things right there. Roweka maximizing him. He did have only one block in that rally. Great attack. And just an update, Air Force has four airs and has Capstar has zero. None, wow. Clean, clean volleyball so far. How do you manage to do that? Like having no errors so far, halfway through a set? I guess they're very focused. <laughs> <laughs> because based on their last matches, there's 30, almost 30 errors. Oh, wow. For a four team. setter game. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So you got to at least, for me, you need to have at least less than five per set. Okay. That's, That's almost good clean range. volleyball, yep. Well, so far, both teams are on target. Here. Yep. <laughs> neck There's and neck. <laughs> we got a challenge here, a net touch, asked by our head coach from the Cab Stars, Coach Christian Antiporta. Calling the shots here for the boys in red. How 
are you liking the challenge system so far, Jamie? I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's very strategic. The coaches sometimes they they just use it they for use it to ice their opponent, I guess, and sometimes it works. But I like having the challenge system only because it really shows. Because sometimes the mm. players are good actors, actresses. <laughs> The, you don't really know from their facial expressions. So <laughs> luckily, with this challenge system, we can really see what the truth what is. Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. Was there... Can we make it slower? <laughs> it's a little too fast for us. It's hard to tell since the ball like, nicked the tip yeah. of the net. I guess not. Okay. No block touch there. Okay, we'll give him that. We'll give him that one. Okay, score stays at 10, serving 11. Still in favor of uh, the Cab Stars. Everybody's just making sure the rotations are correct since it's going to be a replay of the score. Labrador on the service line. Better pass there. Maxino tooling his blockers that time. You know, that's that's a good thing to see, Jamie, that not all spikes are always the power spikes, yes. even in the men's division. That's right. It's, it's nice to see those powerful spikes, but at the same time, I find the attacks that have smart placement uh -huh. nicer to watch, nicer. actually. Better to cheer for us. Yes. <laughs> Roweka tried to find a, an angle in that last uh, rally, but hit the antenna instead. Three points up are your Kabuyao Cab Stars. Ramilo with that serve. Ooh. Too much power on that one. You know, sometimes it's the momentum, adrenaline rush for those missed serves. And sometimes when you have those unforced errors, it kind of breaks the momentum of your team. What breaks the momentum more? A service error, an attack, or what kind of error just like, you know, pulls you down so much? I feel like attack errors. Others, attack attack errors. errors. It's like you have a solid play and then it's followed with an attack error and you're like, you just worked so hard to get the one prior. But actually, I think also miss serves. Miss serves. The outside. <laughs> the outside or not over? Oh gosh, not <laughs> over is worse. Okay, definitely. Because <laughs> sometimes players, they're not trying to go for the ace, right? Yeah, you just want to yeah, get yeah. over. But or they're trying to target someone. Yeah. But sometimes the strength is a little. They're trying to control it, but okay. it's. Yeah, I would, say, like, I would say in the net is worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, ayan na. Wag na wag kayo serve straight to the net. It's a mortal sin in listen the up, volleyball listen community. Up, guys. Listen up. <laughs> Catching up here. Oh, oh, there you go. A service Come ace. On. Come All on. right, on cue, on cue, Roeka with that service ace. But Cap Stars are asking for a ball in, ball out uh, challenge. It's the also server's too fast for me to actually see if it I was didn't on the see line. That, yeah. Too fast. But again, we are lucky that we have these cameras set up all over our court to give us another look. And it's also cool with these challenges. You know, they get to talk over some mm -hmm. stuff. It's kind of like a timeout. That's right. And sometimes during these challenges, you want to like move your body during mm. it because sometimes you get cold because sometimes the challenges take a so while. Long. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here again on your screens, Coach Christian Antiporta. Here we go. Ooh, outside. Ooh, good call good there. They're like, yes. Good eye by the coaching staff calling that uh, challenge. Point and serve, Cap Stars. Oh, we got a double substitution here. We got Basig and uh, Ton Tongyo in. Oh, they got too eager. 
<laughs> too excited to, to play. To get in. <laughs> We got a double sub here. Let's see what magic these two guys will bring. Three points up, ang inyong uh, Kabuya or Cab Stars. Tongyo on the serve. Hueca with that pass. Lopez pushes it to Labrador from the back, gets that point. And I think that's the first successful back row attack right. that we've seen in this first set. from the last match. It's interesting because both of these teams, their last match was against the same, same. team, yep. San Beda University. And uh, interesting to see also that there are five guys with double digits wow. in the Cap Stars, wow. like 11, 11, 13, while for the Air Force, there's only Ran Ran with 28 and two other guys. But we'll talk more about that later after the second technical timeout. PBA 3x3 second conference this year, every Monday and Tuesday, only on One Sports, PBA Rush, and Pilipinas Live. PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. You guys, I know you're watching from either Pilipinas Live, One Sports, or in high definition in One Sports Plus, but sinasabi ko na sa inyo, i-download nyo na yung Pilipinas Live because it's only for 149 pesos a month. And you don't only just watch volleyball, yep. spiker surf, you get to watch PVL, you got to watch UAAP, you got yes. to watch here, PBA 3X3, and dami pang ibang sports na pwede nyo mapanood, at hindi lang sports. And it's available worldwide. worldwide. Yes. My mom has it now. Yeah. It's $7.99. $7.99. Yes, meron tayong international yeah. rate. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> to our international subscribers. <laughs> Sana nanonood po kayo at nag-enjoy kayo ng ating Spiker Stir Friday. <laughs> At hello sa mama mo. <laughs> mama, are you awake? <laughs> Lopez to Ramones. Hitting it through the block. Trying to catch up here is your, are your Air Force Airmen. Still down by three points though. We got a substitution here. Ancheta serving uh, for uh, Ramones. We were talking about earlier, uh, Jamie, uh, going back. There were only three guys with double digits uh, from the Air Force. 28 points, Ran Ran. And then two others got 11 points wow. each. So I feel like comparing it to the output of uh, Kabuyao, na lima yung double digits. Parang they need to, you know, have more people activated. Yes, it can't be a one-man show. We all know that right. it is a team sport. Put that, that one more time. Trying to pong block that one with one arm. But the blocking yeah. a little bit shaky on the side of Air Force. Alexis earlier mentioned that uh, during his in her interview with Ran Ran, blocking was something that they needed to improve on and hopefully uh, would uh, greatly benefit from in today's match. It's a combination play. Yeah. Something you don't usually see once again in the True. first division. Ooh. Jungle ball. Rueca pushes it down the line. Soriano was there. Easy push by Tongyo. Lopez. Labrador. Pasok. Uh, 
the libero of Cap Stars was actually a little bit too forward in their defensive pattern. Just need that step back. That was Centeno or Centeno. Maybe anticipating yung sobrang uh, lakas or sobrang tiin na palo. Lopez with that serve. Soriano with that pass. Tongyo sets it to Ramilo. Miss set there. So these are the small little details that need to be minimized as we're reaching the 20 mark. Right. And uh, the airmen are catching up here. One point deficit para sa kanila. Kaya tatawag ng timeout uh, si Kabuyao Cab Stars. Let's listen in. Okay. Oh, dapat doon, nagwa-warm up na tayo. Oh, presence of mind. Ang dami natin binigay na puntos doon. Oh, discount yung mo. Sayang kasi. Nagkain din yan. Oh, pass tayo. Pass, pass. Oh, pag naiset, discount yan na lang natin. Ha? Oh, pero make sure na mamapalo natin na maayos. Ha? Oh, go, go, go. Stop tayo. 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 Little reminders from uh, Coach Christian right there during the timeout. Usually, James, like, what do you want to hear from timeouts? Especially, like, with this situation, kanina, yung kalaban nyo, four, three points down, and ngayon, they're catching up. Like, yeah. what would you want to hear from your head coach? I would want to hear from my head coach maybe a specific play that he believes that okay. will be effective to get this side out. He was... Actually talking okay. to the setter, Tongyo, right? Yeah. Telling him that he really needs to give the ball properly to his spikers because the past two rallies, the sets were a little bit inconsistent, okay. a little too on the net. And it's difficult with men's. You can't really easily put it on the other side because right. the blockers are so tall. Super. And uh, as we talk about setting and more consistent uh, playmaking, we got uh, Adahar once again. So, balik na yung palit dalawa nila kanina. Adahar, number four in setting, number three in serving. Lopez to Labrador with that fake dress going for the four. Successful on that one, still trailing behind by one. Air gotta Force. Give, you got to give credit to Jesse Lopez for, you know, vet moves there, yep. knowing who to set yep. at the right time. And right. On the side of the Cap Stars, they had a two-week preparation for, mm, for this, this match. match. Their last match was October 25, so those are two weeks of training and trying to get better. I mean, for you, which one worked better? Like having that much, that long of a break? <laughs> or you medyo magkakadikit somehow yung laban? I'd rather have a break, maybe like four day break, but okay, I think not a, like two weeks. A two week break is it's too long. It's too long. You you do have time to train, but it's different when it's actually a game setup, right? right Training right. is very different from playing with the pressure. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that one more time. Successful hit there. I think that's the. That's one thing that makes Adahar a good setter. Even if he's out of position, yes. even if he's not by the net, na activate pa rin yung middle. That's so right. let's listen in to the Air Force Airmen. Oh, you're ready lang na off, na off time ka eh. Ha? Huwag mamadali ka eh. Ah, importante yung momentum mo. Pag nauna ka, mag, mag-relate ka talaga kapag ka medyo ano. Ha? Timing lang, importante yung time. Ha? Ganun lang. Tatlo lang yan, magandang pasa. Preset play. Oh, kayo nang bahala dar eh. Ha, yung paluan na may puso. Ayun lang, ha. Tara. Hey boys! Paluan nang may puso. How would you like translate that, James? Like what does that mean? Something hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <a laughs> deep <Parang> Tagalog. <laughs> Paluan is spiking ng may puso, like with heart, with, with, with gusto. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I guess uh, our head coach uh, in the Air Force is asking for, you know, mas convincing na place, you know, like a point, yung point natin, hindi yung point natin because they, yes. our opponents made errors. Has to be earned. Yes. It can't, your attacks can't be half-hearted. That's why he go. wants it. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, he wants it whole. <laughs> <laughs> Ramilo with that serve. Talentino 
gets that set back. Centeno was there. Ramilo from the back. Caught the line. Jesse acknowledges that uh, it's in. And here we go, Ran Abdilia. Seeing action for the first time here, but there's a challenge here on the side of the Air Force, man. That back row attack was going in zone one. Right. Corner pocket. Definitely some place that's high in efficiency, yes. but the target nyo. On your screens, assistant coach Rafi Mosuela. Here we go. Ooh, that was in. Definitely inside. What a right, what a spot to try to make that ball land. And Jesse Lopez was honest. Yeah. He did say it was inside. He said that it was in, but nonetheless, because you never know, malay natin. In challenge successful and then you get the point and the momentum yep. as well and Check. breaking their yes. momentum Ran Abdilia just checked in let's see if he's warm enough to pull his team up here's uh, tail end of the first set another timeout is called by the Philippine Air Force let's listen in Hello. Uh, Tino Tina target Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I eliminate mo siya pag saro mi siya. Pero itindihin mo muna yung first ball mo. Uh, run, uh, bigyan ka ng pabalikin mo na lang si Ran Ran. Dito naman yung maliit na yung blocker. Kaya, kaya niya siya sa 5. Oh, sige, gawin muna natin yung isa. Ano ba yun? Pasa muna. Huwag niyo tayo makakausod pag wala tayong pasa. That was Coach Rafi Masuela taking over that timeout huddle. Coach Rafi... Also, Matibay na libero yan, and uh, part of the national team as well. And now taking the reins as coach here for your Philippine Air Force Airmen. Ooh, good that timeout. One. Yes, icing the server. Just a little too wide, targeting that zone five. Ramones is back in. And we got Kalasin on the serve. Ooh. Centeno picked that up. If you're not sure, you gotta get it. That's right, when in doubt. <laughs> One handed set. Rabdilia. Check ball. Smart ve play there by Ran Abdilia, making sure uh, he gets quality minutes here at the end of the first set. Look at that one hand set. Smart move, smart move. Because if you don't have yeah, so many no, options left. No choice. Camilo with that pass. And the har. Huge block point for uh, Edwin Tolentino. Ngayon, tatawag naman ng time out ang uh, Kabuyao Cavstars. Alex Sensei, oh, yung pass natin, hindi natin ma-target eh, ma ito sa setter. Eh. Kaya napabasa tayo ng blocker. Okay? O, oh, three points yung binigay natin. Di ba kanina, nag-pull away tayo, tapos uti-uti tayong bibigay. 18 three points. Okay? So, sayang. So, kailangan natin ma-stop to, ha? Ma-stop. Let's go, discuss it. Medyo ano mo, yung play natin, ha? Go, go, tara. Oh, balas tayo, balas. Tabagad, tabagad. Go! Say, go! Go, 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 go. Say, go! Say, go, go, go. Head coach Christian Antiporta saying, "Sayang yung uh, advantage nila. Although they're yes. still up by two points, just making sure you know everybody's on the same page, especially at the tail end, the crucial part of uh, each set, and giving, as you mentioned, a specific play, a specific yes. instruction that they have to execute to get this uh, ball." Let's see, Lopez and Abdila was saying there was an overreaching violation, but uh, first referee, Yul Benosa, saying it was legal. Right, right, 
And Air Force just stopped actually yeah. during that rally. Have to wait is, the whistle. Yeah, Ramon is a little bit hesitant on that uh, sequence. You got Rarai Garcia to serve. Set point. Better first ball here. Lopez goes to Abdilia. Gets blocked and the ball goes out. So far, 100% efficiency here for Ran Abdilia. But now he's in the back row. Villegas checking in for Lopez. Still alive here, only two points down. Ran with that jump serve, Ramilo was there. And Dahar did not even move for that first ball. Just like that, the Cab Stars are now one set up. Let's watch that one again. Uh, very stable Perfect. first ball, yep. right? Setter didn't even move. And really utilizing the middle blockers in this first set. You got 25-22 after that first set in favor of Cabuyo Cab Stars. We'll be back for set number two. We're back here at the Paco Arena Sports Center with your set one highlights. Jamie, what happened here? How was the Cabuyao Cap Stars able to get control over things here in set number one? They had a very good stable first ball and because of that, their setter, Tongyo, who also came in for that double substitution and Adahar were able to really run the offense smoothly with targeting the middle blockers, right. the opposite left and right pin. Now on the side of Air Force, a lot of their unforced errors came towards the latter part of the first set, which is, you know, you have to work on your end game as we see the set one stats. You see nine errors on the side Ooh. of Air Force. That's a little quite a much. lot yeah. just for the first set because you see the attacks, it's actually almost the same. Right. And Air Force has more blocks actually. Yeah. Three more than the cap stars. So I think minimizing the unforced errors and really working on the first ball. Definitely something that they have been saying that they need to work on here. And uh, I remember again that last point by uh, the Kabuyo cap stars. Talagang hindi nagumalaw yung setter nila. So he was how chilling. can you try to read he's where chilling. he's gonna set the ball to, di ba? Kung ganun kaganda yung first ball mo. That's a setter's dream, no, James? That's the best not moving. <laughs> And you, you can't demand too much from your receivers because being a libero is not the easiest job. For sure. I mean, you can't always be so choosy mm -hmm. on what mm -hmm. type of dig. Just like the spikers, you can't always have that perfect set. But right. that last point, no movement from the setter. You got Ramones on your screens. One of the younger uh, players here for the Air Force squad. But so so far this time you have Ran Ran Abdilia starting for these men in uh, white and gold. Lopez gives it to Kalasin. Tolentino was there to chase it down. Lopez says he wants it. Maklang was there. Kalasin sets it to Abdilia, and he gets the point. I believe that was. Not over. 
Yes. Oh, right. Not over. Yeah. First referee said he sees he saw that one. Gives a point to the Capstars. Kalasin makes sure this time everybody knows that it's their point. <laughs> and I think we need more more of those A quick yes. attacks from Air Force. And because of that, we ha they were able to execute that first ball. I think that's what Jesse Lopez needs more of. At the heart. Ooh, with that Abdelia block there, denying one of their go-to hitters here. Kill block, followed by a facial. <laughs> a headshot. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse Lopez on the serve. Soriano with that pass at the heart, one hand set, a little push there. Abdelia asked for it, smashes it to his blockers. That's a great out. swing. That's a great That's swing. That's a great swing. And Ten points. Yep. Kung may ibang point system lang dito sa volleyball, no? What would you rank more? Like a smart, like, cut shot or like a solid spike just like that? Probably a cut shot. A cut shot. The it smart. looks cooler. It looks cooler, yeah. too. All right, all right. But so far, we've been getting uh, power hits here. Start of set number two. This time, Air Force keeping the lead so far as we uh, introduce this set. Tolentino with that pass. Jesse goes to Labrador through the blockers. Not enough space for Adahar there to pick it up and no. keep it in play. Adahar was there. The ball was actually a little bit, it was still high yeah, for him yeah. to get that defense, but smart move powering through that block. I guess he was a little bit too far from uh, yeah. that of, uh, on his side of the That's court. That's right. And he's not afraid to run because he's sure if run runs the one spiking <laughs> in front of you. You yeah. need a shield. You need a shield. You will get headshotted and face facialed <laughs> a lot. Ranabilia with that uh, famous jump serve and gets the ace. Targeting that zone one. It's very important that the receive it, the receivers in the back. We see a three-man receive here uh -huh. on the side of Cab starts to actually stay low. That's a Zihar Vasha serve. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Ran Ranabi. I've seen that since, what, 2011. I wow. remember seeing him for the first time. So Ran Ranabi came uh, from uh, La Salle Dasma. The first time I saw him was um, at a tournament, like a grass tournament, three-on-three like three three grass tournament. I said, who's the robot? <laughs> and up to, until today, he's still the robot that he is. <laughs> Still the same. Still the same. So powerful, so smart. High volleyball IQ for sure. Air Force racking up points here. Set number two, they're four points up. Kalasin with that serve to Soriano. Adahar pushes it to the middle. Jesse sets Labrador using the block that time. Adahar to Soriano, rejected, triple block. Triple block in that rally. Completely covering the defense and helping their squad. Definitely, and just like that, Air Force coming back stronger here in set number two, eight to three. That's our first technical timeout. Another starring setter you mentioned was Jericho Adahar, who is one of the celebrated playmakers from Laguna and is currently ranked third in setting in the conference. Echo mentioned to me that doesn't mean he's a setter, he can't show prowess in any other scoring form, and that is why he's working on his blockings as well. At kita natin yun sa last game niya. Moreover, Echo is setting in Kabuya real good since he has former teammates with him, namely the captain, Haljo Centeno, and Gab Buxino. Hoping to continue their victory, let's see if Echo will dominate the Filipinas live at Paul. Back to you guys. Echo Adahar in their last match. 
with seven points, two wow. spikes, three blocks, and two aces. We love a offensive setter who yes. can also attack and make run. his own points. Yep, that's right. All right, since we returned, there's already a challenge there, a block touch asked by your Air Force Airmen. As a setter, I, I would always say, Jamie, na bakit parang laging sila yung magagaling mag-serve? Like, for you, what's the mindset for that? Like, as a setter, kasi nga, you can't really make your own points in a yep. sense. So, do you have that urge to like, okay, let me just contribute as much as I can? Well, normally, the setter, it depends on the rotation, the setter, oh, that was a block Ooh, touch. That was a pinky touch. Touching the pinky. Yeah. Successful block touch here by Philippine Air Force. On our roll here in set number two, but going to yes. what you were saying, Jamie. Normally, um, de depending on the rotation, the setter is usually the first to serve. Right. 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 So I try before to have a powerful serve because it doesn't actually start with the dig, it actually starts with the serve. With the serve, okay. And if I could help with, you know, my helping my spikers shine, I want to also help in the serving department too. Right. It, it, that's why they say it's the first line of offense. Yep. Serving hard, but uh, speaking of offense, wow. You got Panganiban uh, on that right side, getting a point here for the Capstars. Still down by five points, but let's see. Tolentino smashing that, but Bosse Live Lopez sets Labrador oh. cross court. Baon. That's a perfect set by Lopez. And that swing above the blocking of Capstars Cap targeting that cross court attack. Cross court zone, rather. It's always trying to, you know, target the setter's area as yes. well. Tolentino, wow, with that fadeaway <laughs> spike. He's okay, guys. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he got the point. He got the kill. Let's look at that one more time. Through the seam. And he was not even in, in place during right. that sequence, but made away. Labrador with that serve. That went out. See his frustration after that serve. Adrenaline rush. How about you, Jamie? Like every time you go up for the serve, do you always think about like serving really hard and then uh, parang high risk, high reward? Yeah. Um, or is it like, okay, let me just find someone? Yes. Okay. Find someone first. But when I get comfortable, I would. Not I'm gonna try and get an ace, but yeah. make it hard. But if it's very crucial, like 25 all, just get it on the other side. <laughs> okay. Because it really depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. Okay. Oh, or your coach as well, because sometimes the coaches have right. you target a specific zone. Sometimes zone three, which is very difficult. The very three short is short. Very short. Middle, right. Try and um, kind of make the opponent shaky with the pass yes with the pass because sometimes the middle blocker is usually in that position right but yeah it just depends run run wow trying to look for a head to hit <laughs> there almost hitting soriano but uh, quick reflexes his target is the head not the <laughs> <laughs> you got doria on the service line seven serving at 12 run run picks it up asks for it Goes again, yeah. and this time successful. Down the line hit by Ran Abdilia. And that's a tandem that has been mastered yes. in the past years. Textbook play. Yep. Receive more, follow in more. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon is on your screens for the serve. Ramilo, ooh. Ramones a little bit out of place there yes. for the defense. Successful hit for the Scab Stars. He needs to catch up in the set. He going for that open 
Bok was a little bit late, but yes, Romanes was a little bit too forward in that rally. Oh, and the free point from uh, Adahar, no less. Is that right? Number four in serving. Yes. Third in setting, a fourth in serving. Jesse Lopez to Ramilo. Overpass there. Everybody say it's still good, but uh, first referee, Yul Benosa, eventually calls a point for uh, Air Force. There was an illegal block there. Someone from the back row tried to block the Abdilia hit. Lopez targeting Ramilo, who's been really successful. Adahar just really trying to like challenge yes. that set. So far, back to back to back points here for the Philippine Air Force, and that's our second technical timeout. sabayin sa kanila. Eh, yun yung gusto ko ipakita dito sa Philippine Volleyball, lalo na sa men's, na tanggalin natin yung trend na pag nag-30 years old ka, tapos na yung karir mo. Diyan pala nagsisimula yung totoong karir mo eh, pagdating niya. Kasi diyan mo natututunan lahat. Like, mas namamaster mo yung, yung position mo, namamaster mo yung galaw mo, mas madami kang natututunan dun sa, sa sports. Pinaka the best dyan, tumigil ka, mga 38. Tama yung sinasabi ng mga nauna. Kaya pa ng isip mo, pero yung katawan mo hindi na kaya. The first ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9 only at NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. But uh, let's go back to that uh, Jesse Lopez interview. Sabi nila, 30 years old, tapos ka na. But look at these wow. men. I love it. Like, really pushing through, powering through. Yes. I mean, they're military men also, for a living. Yes. So, definitely keeping uh, health and fitness in check. I mean, look at that. Definitely. What a rally. Here. And flexibility. And flexibility. And still in their tip-top shape despite their ages. That's right. But uh, in that last sequence, Soriano getting that uh, check out, facing uh, towards the cross court, but hitting a line. But uh, service error, not helping their cause here. Talking about the Cabuyo Cab Stars, who's down by eight points. And just an update on the attacks with Air Force, they're 9 out of 16 and Capstar's 4 out of 12, meaning that a lot of their attempts are not turning in to attack points. I mean, just look at that. Blocking has been very efficient here for Air Force. Na kahit it's not a block touch, it's a good touch that slows down the place yep. and everything. We got a double sub here once again for your Cabuyo Cab Stars. Dasig and Tongyo, always the designated two, subbing in for Adahar and uh, Panganiban. Very effective also, a double sub. Yep. Like it's, it feels like the first two didn't leave. It feels like, you know, they can really fill in their spots. That's right. Tongyo with the serve to Tolentino. Lopez looks for Abdilia in the, the back row. Centeno sets to Soriano, gets blocked. Bossil alive, still wow. in play. Centeno hustling through, but this time Doria making sure he puts it away. The B quick attack by Doria. He did score 11 points in their last match. 
We haven't seen a lot of middle attack C in the second set. That's right, but always, always making sure na walang free ball na ibinabalik. True, true. true. Good serve there, Lopez. Oh. Pumatong si Labrador. Wow. Impressive play so far from the men. But uh, a steep hill to climb here after that uh, hit by Labrador. Seven points ang wow. kailangan na uh, habulin ng Capstars. Kaya tumawag sila na timeout. Okay lang? Diba? Oh, ba Baguhin muna natin yung mukha natin. Kasi masyad na kasi mangot. Masyado mabigat eh. Oh. Coach uh, Christian Antiporta reminding his team that you know maybe it all starts with body language. Yes, always. Let's try to smile. Fake it till you make it. Yep. Ngiti tayo, galaw galaw. When you hear that from your coach, Jamie, like what goes through your mind? Well, especially with the coach, he sees our faces, right? Sometimes we don't realize that we're not smiling. And we have to keep in mind that when we see a teammate not smiling, it's a it's a domino effect. Right, right. right. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yep, and it's yep. it can come off as negative energy almost. Gotcha. We got a sub there, but ball still in play. Tip there. Ramon is picked it up to Alentino, tries to put it away. Ramilo was there. Good coverage there by uh, Cabstars. Once again, this time through the blockers, Basig, who just checked in here in set number two, gets a point. Let's watch that one more time. Going for that open. And he's not the tallest of attackers, but he's really trying to outsmart that triple block. Yeah. I mean, sometimes pag dito lagi nakapuesto yung blocking, it, there's really still a chance that yes. you still can get a point against them. Air on that a quick attack. Back to back points for the cab stars here. Ooh. Always jinxing it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the momentum that we were talking yeah. about earlier. Yep, yep. You've had great sequences and then it's followed by a miss serve. And the Cap Stars currently have four service errors in the second set. Oh wow. Air Force with two. Something we didn't see in set number one. Ooh, Medjo ng Giggle, Ran Ran Abdilag to get that block. Against Dasi, kasi nakita niya mas malit sa kanya. Yep. Mas kaya niyang uh, di palagpas yun yung palo. Let's see that one more time. He saw it. He went for it. Medyo na excited nga lang. Scraping Talagang the gusto net. niyang payung. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, trailing behind uh, by five points. Still in this match. Sorry, um. Doria, rather, with that serve. Ran Ran is wow. back. Wow. I mean, look at that height. Look at that elevation when he goes for that swing. Let's see that one more time. Slow oh mo replay. Height and might. I mean, he always has the hot hands. And he's still in the front row. Might as well maximize that. Definitely. And for this situation, Jamie, if you see. You know, yung kalaban mo, mi Ran Ran Abdilia. Like, how do you find a solution to that? How I just do you set try them, to... Set them all the time. I mean, okay. if they're in the front row. It also depends if you want to take that risk. Sometimes you you kind of need to understand the situation at hand. If your open spiker or even a middle blocker has the hot hands, I would continue giving it to them. Yes, yes. Gotcha. But for Kabuya or Cab Stars, like how do you stop Aran Ran Abdilia? Stay very low on defense and block. <laughs> Blocking. Blocking. 
like have one person be in charge for that. But yes. So far, things are going pretty well for the Kabuyao Cap Stars. A couple of miscues here on the side of Philippine Air Force. Easy points. Yes. Na ipamigay nito ang airmen. Villegas looks for Abdelia, goes cross court. Ramilo was there, but not enough control to put it up. Air Force tatlo na lang uh, before they wrap up this set. Look at that. No block. Freak of nature. <laughs> Super good. <laughs> Double sub back in Lopez and Labrador. Lopez to serve, but Kabuya calls for a timeout. Coach Christian still trying to, you know, control the situation yep. here, freezing the serve, trying to stop the momentum of the Air Force Airmen who's now up by five points. Medyo consistently five points. Go. So, like, medyo mahirap habulin. Like, how do you resolve that, Jamie? Well, it's important that um, the Capstars, they kind of have the momentum. They have been winning the past few sequences, but I think that they need to stay consistent. Okay. Stick to the basics, the dig set spike. You don't need flashy... Um, attacks, combination plays, just, I think, just play the game the right way. Just stick to oh, wow. your strongest suit here. Ramilo yes. with that serve, but there was a wrong rotation. A buzzer was set off from the official state ball. Let's see. What's going on so far? It seems like they're fixing who's supposed to go yeah. where and who's supposed to serve. Now, this is very crucial because these are the things that you can control. Right. Especially you're down four points. Captains would always have the benefit for of asking the official, sino bang mag serve, tama ba yung puesto, before the first referee blows the whistle to serve. But it seems like malinga ang rotation ng ating uh, Kabuyao Cab Stars. Second referee, Joffer Educado, putting them in place. Remembering uh, that there was a double substitution here for the Cab Stars. Second referee making sure that he explains it to head coach Christian Antiporta. First referee saying uh, before all the changes, the liberos in and out. Sandalilang. Ayusin muna natin <laughs> ang kabuyao. <laughs> Bago kayo mag sneaky sneaky dyan, ang sino papasok at saan. <laughs> One situation at a time, guys. Yes. Sandali lang, mahina ang kalaban. <laughs> Especially, I mean, you wouldn't want to make errors, errors no. of judgment. Yep, uh, at this point in the set. Especially the momentum's coming from right, the right. Capstar side. So they're calling for a good ball. Okay, fair, fair. So it was, it was the wrong server or no? It's it's a, it's a replay. It's the, uh, he, it, he was the one who served earlier, so tama naman. Oh, okay. But, okay, everything, everyone giving a <laughs> thumbs up. Referees, players, coaches, okay. Let's get this ball in play. 22, 18, 22 para sa Air Force. You got Ramilo on the serve. Well, 
a testament of how timeouts, challenges, and whatnots can yes. really, you know, sh shatter the momentum. Ranabilia, jump serve. Ramilo with that pass at the heart. Pumatong. See Garcia gets the point. Nobody on the net, at the net, nobody on the floor to pick that up. Gorospe checks in here, set number two. He's now tasked to serve. 19 serving 23. Still a five, uh, a four point de deficit rather. Good serve. And Cheta was there. Tolentino finds Panganiban and uh, Doria in that last sequence. Ngayong uh, set point ang Air Force Airmen. And Cheta was there for defense. Yep. At he did get a successful and efficient dig back there in that last sequence. Ramon is the middle blocker this time in front. Kalasin to serve. At the heart goes in the wow. middle. Nobody getting that touch. Doria successful in that attack. Still alive. Panganiban to serve. That was a big quick attack. Yeah. Jump serve. Good pass. Run, run, back row, but Centeno was there at the har. Goes to Panganiban, check ball. Lopez was there. Abdilia sets it to Tolentino, pushes it over with two hands. Oof, miss Q there. Ending set number two, 25 to 20 in favor of the Philippine Air Force. So far, it feels like Air Force men are getting the groove. Let's see That's that one right. more time. Getting their momentum. It's a miscue. Yep. Just the timing of the miscue, yes. it was the and last the point. Serve error er, earlier yes. as well. Just like that, you got 25 20 this time in favor of the Philippine Air Force. That was set number two. We'll be back. Number two, in favor of uh, your Philippine Air Force Airmen, 25 to 20. This time, talagang parang nakuha na nila yung groove yes. nila in that previous set. That's right. The Air Force, they were able to have more production and consistency from the attackers. We saw more efficiency on the open spikers, and yep, Capstars yep. Had, a, had a difficult time blocking it alone, going for that dig. But on the side of Capstars, the timing, I would say, of the unforced errors were not in their right, favor. Right. Uh, breaking the mem They did have a run. Uh, I believe it was a 3-0 three, three run. run towards the end. And we see the set two stats. Attacks almost the same, 13 and a uh, 14 and 13 rather, but Air Force with two blocks and one service ace. Like I said earlier, the opponent errors, they're almost the same, but... It's the timing. It's the timing that... You, you don't know, that you don't yeah. see on your yeah. screens. And just the timing uh, that breaks the momentum of the cap stars, especially during that um, call from the, the refs with the, right, with the wrong server, um, followed, with, followed by the miss serve. 
misserve, mishit, miscommunication yep. as well. Some, some, some of the things that you wouldn't want to do and see in the tail end uh, of each set. But so far, parang ginanahan din itong uh, Air Force, especially yes. when Ran Abdilia stepped in and started on your screens. Ran Abdilia, I think, uh, the most efficient so far. That's right, Abdilia. He has 11 points. Labrador has 12, Tolentino with seven, and Ramones with three. So you do see a, it's very spread out evenly. Okay. It's, we talked about this earlier. It's not just a one-man team. Right. And therefore, they did win the second set. Ranabilia, 11 points. Despite not starting set number one, but katuwang niya dyan si uh, Labrador and Tolentino. Definitely a more organized system that you're seeing from the Air Force Airmen in that previous set. Let's see if they're able to sustain that. And Jesse Lopez starts it with a service ace. Targeting that zone five, that long ball serve. Great spot. Always trying to find the line. Again, this has been the narrative that we were talking about. Setters trying to, you know, yep. get their own scores through the serves. But this time, Ramilo converting a better pass from his teammates to a point. And Z, he's not the tallest of right? attackers. Right. So he really has to find a way and power through that block. And better passing on the side of Air Force. Which you see the effect. Talagang uh, yep. easy put away there. If uh, the first ball is a good, uh, a good one. Jump serve to Ramilo. Adahar sets it to Panganiban. Labrador gets blocked by Panganiban. It's a great block by Panganiban. It's really important that. Cap starts focus on their blocking because they will maximize on that yep. right pin. So far here, though, blocking has been uh, better on the side of Air Force. Ooh, Labrador wow. making sure nobody touches his ball as he gets a point. Three to two here in set number three. Kalasin. Their middle blocker goes to serve. Centeno with that pass at the heart. Back sets it to Panganiban. Wow. Denied. Tolentino loving that point. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> See that one more time. The timing. The timing yes. yes. And that was a single block. So Great. they could have gone the sharp cross court to avoid the hands of Tolentino. Valentino once again uh, roll shots it to the setter. Panganiban tries to do the same. Ranabdile was there. Lopez goes to Labrador. Umikot and gets the points. Smart plays by Jesse Lopez. And during the rallies, he jump sets with the middle blockers. Right. And because How important of that, is that, Jamie? You, that really, you really have to time the jump of your middle blockers because you will fool mm. the blocking of your opponent. Right. Oh, nice set there by Centeno. Kalasin, back set to Tolentino. Goes for down the line, but a little too wide on that hit. That was the right idea. There was no one playing defense down the line, just a little too wide. Magsino on your screens. Jump serve. Oh, straight to the net. Too short. Still trying to find that groove at the service line. Free point para sa Air Force. You got a Labrador to serve. Six serving three here, set number three. Ooh. Oh, and response with the same error straight to the net. That's the best feeling if your opponent yeah. misses. Salamat. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for returning the favor. <laughs> Panganiban this time. Better serve there. 
Lopez goes for Tolentino. Great check there at the net. Doria sees that opening. And we said this earlier, it's not always about the strongest attacks, but yep. really being smart and placing it in the right spot. Panganiban again with a jump serve. Ooh, a let's serve oh. and an ace. <laughs> with the help of the net. Thank you, net. <laughs> Usually these balls, dapat yung middle blockers yung naga anticipate yes. if I'm not mistaken. They have to get the short. Yes. Okay, this time goes for a long serve. Lopez goes to Ramones, but it did not cross. We are at six all year, set number three. Errors have been produced more on the side of yes. the airmen. Kaya tabla tayo dito. Uh, sorry, we are 7 6 rather. One more point for the Cap Stars. Panganiban has been there at the service line for quite a while, but Ramones, Bumawe, this time without a B quick hit. 7 all. Jesse Lopez giving his spiker another chance yeah. to redeem himself. As a setter, Jamie, how do you know when to, you know, give the ball back to someone who just made a mistake. I always try to give it to them after. Right, because right after. Right after. You know, after making an error, the confidence might go down a bit. All right, we'll see how these guys in white and gold bounces back after the first technical timeout. And Jamie, last set we saw a resurgence of the airmen, and I actually got to talk on opposite hitter of the Air Force, Ben in Audito, and he emphasized that with the run run Abdelia, the importance of keeping in shape and good condition, given that their ages are ranging 30 plus. They mentioned cutting down toxic carbs, getting at least six hours of sleep a day, saying no to vices, and staying committed to their day and night training. That's right, they train two times a day. Pagdating naman sa laban nila against Kabuyo, kikilanganin raw nilang floor defense at mas magandang pasa. That's not forget the Filipinas uh, Paul back to you guys that report coming from Ben in Audito <laughs> Diko sure Alexis kung he's sharing the truth <laughs> I'm kidding but no I remember during the first spiker surf conference we were able to have some of the airmen um, at the game um, so si Kalasin was there and he was saying Nana, the number one priority that conference was to make sure we get fit and stay fit okay because that was the first i think that was the first spiker surf after the pandemic okay so everybody was still getting ready to be in their uh, tip-top shape and um, competitive form yeah. and nutrition also and especially nutrition, what you definitely. eat it's very key when you're prepping for a tournament I mean, especially if, you know, you're joining a league like this with 24 teams joining and uh, some of the teams that you're going to be playing against are like 10 years younger than you, That's right. right? That's right. Playing, still playing in college. So you got to ramp up the pace with with the fitness and you have health to keep up. department. You have to keep up. <laughs> Jesse Lopez. To Soriano, Adahar goes to Ramilo, check ball, K Labrador. It's a great swing. You can see that the block of Air Force is actually getting tricked a bit yeah. here. Yep, yep. In that rally. And that was coming from a triple block. So right. the offense of Cab Stars is really fooling the block of Air Force. 
But Kalasin responds right away there. I think this is a very crucial stage in the set na kasi palitan lang sila ng yep. puntos. Yep. You know, it, it matters kung sino yung mag-error kasi dun sila lalayo. That's true. But a good first ball here by the Cab Stars. Magsino denied at the net. Ramilo will try. And uh, Tolentino getting that block point. Now they're up by two points. Again, blocking has been the strongest suit here for Air Force. Pendel now checking in for Magsino. Jump serve still good. Ramilo, basag block this time. Again, Ramilo, not that tall, but yep. definitely high on a volleyball IQ. Finding the seams, the nooks and crannies where he can put the ball and get the point. Yep, smart play. Tolentino, nagdalawang isip, gets the opportunity to attack. Little short there. Coach Rafi Mosuela saying, Baan mo hahawakan yung ball at ipupush? Paluin mo. Ramilo already with 10 points, 9 of 13 attacks in the second set. That's pretty efficient. Very efficient. Free ball here para sa Cab Stars. And the heart chooses Pendel but denied. Kalasin uh, very attentive at the net. The offense a little bit too obvious yeah. on the side of Cab Stars. A one point game here, set number three. 13 serving 12. Kalasin on the serve. Soriano, good pass. Adahar chooses Maniban. Soriano want to play there. Soriano scoring 13 points in their last match. Way to anticipate that ball. The timing as well. And using her. <laughs> The blockers yep. to their advantage. Ooh, Labrador finding a spot there in the middle. You know, the set was a little too tight and already out, so it's important that the cap stars really look at the setter. The set, yep. they could have gone a little bit in the middle in that donut hole to play defense. But they're throwing away points here. Earlier, they were up by five points. As much as five points this time. Tabla na naman tayo sa set number three. 14 all. Panganiban for the jump serve. Again, reciprocated real yep. quick here. Um, Cap stars with two service errors and three on the side of Air Force. Double sub here for uh, Cab Stars, Tongyo, and Dasig once again. You got uh, Tolentino on the serve. Good serve. Oh. Soriano. Net touch as well by Ranabilia. Medyo nang gigigil talaga pag magbablock tong si Ran Ran. 15 points apiece here. Uh, catching the tape of the net on his way up. Soriano. I think at this point, they're trying to like serve hard. Yes. High risk, high reward, but you know. A lot of uh, service error exchanges here in uh, set number three. That's it, 16 to 15. That's our second technical timeout.
professional. Isa yung siya yung nag-handle sa akin na coach na napaka-professional. Parang every training may iba't ibang program pero alam na alam niya yung gagawin na bawat, bawat player na sa amin na paano nila i-improve yung isang player, paano nila i-improve yung isang team. Ayan. Tsaka magaling siya mag-handle ng family. Watch the Spiker Surf live in HD and on demand via Pilipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. Yan na guys, 149 pesos yes. subscription monthly lang. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, subscribe na, download na. Tell your friends and family to get it. Our friends and family have it. I have it on my phone. Yep. And it's always fun because you always get the chance to watch the games in multi screen. Yes. Sometimes we fan stream yes, pa. Stream. So very interesting ways to catch the games here via Pilipinas Live. Back to the ball game, 16 points apiece. Ran Abdilia makes it 17 to 16. He has been silent, Z, in this yeah, yep, yep. third set. Not a lot of production from him in this, but without attack, going for that cross court. I believe uh, Jesse Lopez had, has been activating uh, Labrador yes. more in this set. Almost a block point there by Abdilia. Abdilia gets this opportunity, but wow. Centeno was there. Ramilo denied. No, it's Sorry expected that. that when Ramilo is in the front row, yep. he really has to outsmart his blocking. Maybe have a drop ball. Yeah, yeah. Off so, speed attack. So far, we've seen power hits from uh, Ramilo here in this match. Pendel uh, checks out for uh, Magsino here for the Cap Stars. You got Lopez on the line. Dasig with a pass. Wow. Perfect pass. Magsino converting that to a point. Perfect receive, perfect set. Yep. Hindi naman chilling. Hindi naman gumalaw yung set yep. nila, Tokyo, <laughs> having a day of his life <laughs> with a right. really dime of a pass. But uh, still down by one point here, ang inyong uh, Kabuya Cap Stars. The hard with that serve. Ooh. Wow. Smart, smart. Magsino manning the net really well here. 18 all. And he could have easily attacked it hard, yep, but yep. just pushing it over ever so lightly. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's the simplest things that yes. are efficient. Ooh, wow. good hustle there by the Cap Stars. Ramilo there. and one. Targeting that long ball cross court attack. You know, he had to switch up his his attacks yep, going yep. now to the cross court. This time, uh, Rafi Mosuela calls for a timeout. That's the same. Target. Ayo. Lab. Kamay na. Ang bola, ang 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 service eh, binibigay lang tina target lang eh. Kamay nyo na. Ay. Alam mo na play mo. Oh, oh sige, banan. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, sige. That was a cool timeout. Seeing how Coach Rafi was like, "Oh, alam mo play mo." Very chill. And then Lopez went like, "Oh, <laughs> of course I know." There's trust. There's respect. But uh, don't look now because the Cab Stars are up by one. Lopez to Labrador. Tolentino was there for coverage. Abdilia on the right side. Not over. They were saying it did not went over. Referee says there was uh, four touches, but mohang tatawag ng challenge itong uh, Air Force saying there was indeed a block touch. Let's see. Let's review the tapes. 
I mean, usually, you know, I remember I had a I had a friend who would say, you know what, these not overs before the challenge system was introduced. Etong mga not over nyan, most likely na tatatsya ng blockers. You just don't know. We're just so quick. The Filipino volleyball thing. Pag tumatsya lang sa net, not over na. Yeah. But w- since the challenge system was introduced, you can really see na. Without the arms of the blockers, tatawid pa yung bole. So it most will, likely it's yes. a block touch. Let's see. Pero let's see. <laughs> let's see in this one. The acting skills. The acting skills. <laughs> Ooh, there was oh, not. Malayu din uh, sa Very, braso ni yep. Ramilo. Good challenge though. Twenty-three, uh, twenty to eighteen this time. Cab stars have held on to the lead consistently so far here. Tail end of set number three. Second referee checking if everybody's in the right place once again at the heart to serve. Ooh. Ooh. Very crucial, especially we're nearing the 20 mark. You know, this is the time to lessen yeah. the yeah. unforced errors. Early Christmas gift para sa uh, Air Force. <laughs> True. Oh, oh. sinagot din ng isa pang regalo ng Air Force para sa Cup Stars. And there are four service errors committed by both squads. Yeah, Ramilo on deck to serve. That was in. Good pass from Abdilia. Tolentino powers through, over set there. Kalasin. Maybe too eager on that overpass. First referee, Yul Benosa, saying there was an overreaching. The ball was still on the side of the Cab Stars. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Captain Labrador trying to talk things out with the first referee, but the referee denies it. Rafi Mosuela not happy with that decision. Now they are down by three points. Good pass, Rabdilia. Labrador through the block. That's a great swing by Labrador. They, I was expecting them to call a challenge, but might as well save it, I guess. I don't He's think so there was a challenge. There's a challenge for that, though. Ah, uh, that's right. Ah, right. uh, yeah. What yeah. with the challenge? Wala. We have none. <laughs> uh, block touch. <laughs> Maxino responds. One and done here. 23 20. Again, the setter not moving. Perfect receive. Establishing that a quick attack. Good pass there. Labrador, check ball. But Ramilo was there. Good hustle. Good Great system set. set. Lopez chooses Labrador once again. That was and a gets a point. That was a good dig out of system set. Bomb set. Oh, timeout now. Called by the Cab Stars. Go, go, go. Oh, 21-23, tama. So, kailangan may stop natin to. Okay? Okay lang yun. Kung yun yung discard mo, di ba? Naniniwala ako sa'yo, pero next time na gawin mo yun, dapat pa rin. Kahit hindi yan, so, kapit tayo, ha? One good pass tayo. One good pass, ha? Kapit, tapang, 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 on uh, the side of Air Force, Labrador just punishing yep. the Cab Stars. But uh, going back to that timeout, you know, head coach communicating the trust of what their decisions are. 
Pero yun nga lang yung condition. Dapat pumupunto <laughs> si mga risks niya. Dapat calculated. Yep. <laughs> And I love the tone as well. It's so chill. It's so calm. <laughs> Little sarcastic. Yeah, for sure. Gabi Liegas. Nice serve. Soriano to pick it up. Ooh, nice play. Oh! oh. Okay. Soriano was supposed to get it already, <laughs> but his teammates <laughs> doing the job. <laughs> yelling. Outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, and sometimes when you're in the moment, for oh, sure yeah. Soriano didn't know that he was super outside. Outside, yeah. yeah. A good thing. <laughs> good thing. Good serve. Villegas chooses run, run. Medyo ng gigel. Just like that. Set number three goes in favor of the Cap. Buyao Cap Stars. Let's see that one more time. Run, run. Not proper timing. A little too low. A little bit, yep, that's right. A little bit too <laughs> low of a set. Still enjoying the game, nonetheless. Two sets to one in favor of the Capstars. That's the end of set number three. We'll be back for set four. What a turn of events in that uh, set number three. Air Force was pretty much leading uh, all throughout that set, pero halfway through hanggang sa dulo talaga ang uh, pinilit yep. nitong uh, Kabuyao Cab Stars na humabol and maintain the lead. It's hard to, you know, crucial also to maintain the lead, yes. especially in the tail end of the set. Game. I would say that the Cab star, Stars were very steady. Um, this fourth set, they, you did mention that they were down at the first part of the first fourth set, but they were able to recover right away. Oh, look at that. I mean, what's, what wow. strikes you the most, Jamie? The, for the sure, the 11 errors on the side yeah. of Air Force. The, and you see the attacks, it's even 12. And the blocking, Air Force Still. actually has more blocks than Cap Stars, but the 11 airs and I did say earlier it's it's good to have uh, less than five airs cap stars only with four in that fourth yep. set way to contain the airs produced in that previous set as you mentioned also Rana Bilia has been pretty quiet in set number three and the 11 airs it's seven attacks. attack errors okay that's right, Abdelia had in that last in the last yeah. rally. The a timing of as well. Yep. Also. Yeah. But uh, better passing for the Air Force squad definitely. Yes. And again, blocking has been good. Seven out of the hmm. It's a lot. That is that's a lot. Still could be anybody's ball game. Here we are, set number four. Two sets already taken by your Kabuyo Cab Stars. These are gentlemen in red. And looking to snatch this set are your uh, Philippine Air Force Airmen. Makla <laughs> providing uh, the energy Whoa. they needed. I got scared for <laughs> Just yelling and flailing about <laughs> Dito sa Paco Arena in Manila. <laughs> set four about to commence here. Right, 
You got Michael Doria. Tolentino. Jesse. Jesse chases it down, but nobody even attempted to help to put that ball over. That's very frustrating. I mean, as <laughs> a setter. setter. Okay, better pass by Labrador. Abdilia gets the point. Also from the net infraction by the Capstars. One all. No, the team Z that will win will is, is the team that makes those in-game adjustments yeah. faster, yep, yep. right? You know, this is nothing new. They've played thousands of games already, but the ability to adjust fast is very important. And also, who's going to be more consistent yes. as well. Uh, that last point is awarded to the Air Force. Me lifting violation now, as called by our first referee, Yul Binosa. That was a solid push. Ooh. Wow. And that was a solid block. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ramilo acknowledging. You have a I triple mean, block. single block. Right? In a sense, yeah. But three blockers, that's hard to, you know, try to get around. Soriano with that pass. The har. To Ramilo, muntik ng bumawe, Abdilia, our system. Soriano wow. with a good D. Ooh, Maklang. Nice dive there. Kalasin tips it over. Adahar, middle. Ooh, jungle ball wow. there. Scrappy defense on both sides, I would say. Not letting the ball drop. Definitely. I mean, for the Air Force Airmen, they need to work twice as hard yes. this time to extend the match. But uh, for the Kabuyao Cab Stars, they need to work hard to end this game yep. here, right here, right now. Lopez was there for the coverage. Ranabilia goes high wow. and above his blockers, but Soriano still playing a solid uh, defense there. Ramilo trying to Hail Mary <laughs> shot that last <laughs> hit. Yep. <laughs> but uh, first referee Yul Benosa saying there was no touch. 4 2, Rana Dilia, jump serve. Good pass, Adahar. Good play there, but Maklang hesitated to get that tip. He was there. Yep. And we did say this it's not always about the strongest of attacks, but placement. Right. License to pick up every ball here for our liberos. Ooh, nice D there by Adahar, Ramilo, pipe. Lopez, miscue there with Abdilia. Centeno to Panganiba, and Lopez picked it up. Nice set there for Tolentino, a little bit too high though. Ooh, ball still in play, Labrador. At the heart, pushes it to Soriano, goes wow. down the line. See beautiful exchanges between both squads. Soriano targeting that down the line. That's the first, actually, that we've seen. Down the line. With that right? down the line. Usually, that lane has been closed off by the airmen blockers, but not that time. Tolentino. Asking for a check ball, but a little bit too wide here. Ngayon, lamang na ang uh, Kabuyao Cavstars. The Air Force Airmen looking a little bit frustrated here. Ramilo, ooh, giving them a gift. Five all. in here at the service line. Adahar sets it to Panganiban, denied. Nice. Kill block for Ramones and Tolentino. 
Ramones had five points in their last match. Kalasin getting comfortable in uh, that area. Ooh. But uh, Magsino ending things right away here, keeping the tie here at set number four, six all. And a lot of the balls that are dropped on the side of Air Force is actually in that donut hole zone. Right. Ooh. Trap set there. Tolentino tries to go Ooh. over his blocker, successfully gets the point. Romilio was there for the dig. He second guessed himself yeah. in that rally. This time, Labrador. At the heart. Wow. To his middle blocker, Doria, making it look so simple. <laughs> Very textbook play. Again, it all starts from the past. Let's see that one more time. No yeah, movement. Yeah. Si <laughs> and he looks, he looks away, but looks <laughs> at his teammates. <laughs> right. I mean, whatever helps. <laughs> oh, Adahar for the spike and the point. Leaving that touch by Tolentino. And that's it. Our first technical timeout in favor of the Kabuyo Cap Stars. We'll be back. And Jamie, I got to talk to Kabuyao's opposite hitter, Dom Panganiban, and given it was only their first game last week, undoubtedly it was still a good four-set win. But according to Dom, there was a huge court adjustment when they set foot here in Paco Arena. As of now, the Kabuyao Cavstars are said to be keeping their guard up when it comes to the wing spikers of the airmen. Let's not forget the Filipinas live at Paul, but I wanted to ask you, Z and Jamie, if you guys could relate to the impact of playing in different arenas impact in playing in different arenas hmm what's one uh, venue that you love playing in moa moa that's our my batch hates moa <laughs> oh, <laughs> for us it was araneta and then we, i know yeah. that naman. <laughs> when it was in araneta we would always complain about the light <laughs> everything na lang, no I think it's really, you know, confidence and sure, like, your experience yeah. overall. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we have the opportunity to play in a good venue here, right smack in the middle of Manila here, Paco Arena Events and Sports Center, where it's ho it housed uh, Spiker Turf, yes. V League as well. And once PVL as well, I remember last That's right, we had year, it. last yep. year. We had it before. By going back to the ball game, successful block here. Don't look now. This time, uh, things are in favor of uh, the Philippine Air Force. 10 serving eight. You got Tolentino. Put us in play. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, that was a bump set. Perfect bump set. Bump set na quick. Be quick attack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how often do you see that? I mean, even Centeno, the libero, was like, oh no, I oh, yeah. made a miss pass, pero. And it was low, very low too. It was low and <laughs> too fast. Oh. Speaking of low and too fast, that pass did not make it to the second touch. Soriano getting that ace. We haven't seen a lot of aces also yep, in this yep. match D. Better pass from Labrador. Ramones there. making things up for the airmen. Keeping the lead here in set number four. 
You know, and it always, we've been saying this, it always does start with that first ball. Jesse Lopez is able to utilize the middle blockers more. Mm. Ramon is with that serve, Centeno was there. Nice block, but Leave once touch. again, someone catching the net. Three point bumbujos para dito sa Kabuyo Cab Stars. Let's see who nicked the net. Oh, uh, yeah, Kalasin. A little too much press on that one. Doria with that serve. Valentino back row. Ooh, goes long. So, Pabor na naman ang ating uh, ang lamang for Kabuyo Cab Stars. Meanwhile, Air Force Airmen asking for a block touch challenge from the Tolentino hit. The back row attack. Mm -hmm. Whatever may help their cause right now. Tawag na tayo ng challenge. You never know. Let's see here. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, medyo but, malayo. But the call was a block touch. I thought it was inside. That was right. I thought that was the call actually. Okay. I mean, but they're trying to yep. challenge whatever at this point. Yep. Dahil, uh, True. Lamang na ulit ang ang inyong kabuyao cab stars. Doria on the service line. Maklang. Still working on that pass. Nice Adilia. Doria was there. Ooh, nice jungle ball. Ramilo pushes it. Joust there, won by Lopez. Ball still in play for the Cab Stars. Maklang sets up Abdilia. Goes cross wow. court, but Ramilo is there. Ooh. Inside for Ramilo. Got the dig. Perfect set. Just targeting that corner pocket of zone five. Airmen are frustrated here. You can see it from their body language. Abdilia gets a set. Oh. Oof. No follow through though yeah. from his teammates. No coverage. Nag hesitate ulit si Maklang and there was no follow up here. So mapapatawag ng timeout itong si coach Rafi Mosuela. Atake naman ng attacker naman ang problema. Silang. Dandahan lang natin, ha? Dandahanin lang natin. Importante, pasa muna. Para may atake tayo. Kira, nung pagigilan. Ay, tayo, pwede ka naman mag-drop ball dyan. Ano puro palo. Okay. Sige, tara. Good reminder there from Coach Rafi na, you know, Maybe we can use some variations right, right. from your shots. Di lang palong madiin. Switch it up. Yep. I mean, the set is good. Good. Yep. Yep. Right. But I mean, kasi kanina kiran ran talagang gumagana yung powerful attack niya. But now, True. medyo na babasa na kasi yes. again first ball, medyo absent kaya the out of system plays are you know forced to be sent to Abdilia kung sure. saan may naka-establish na the blocker like just one. like that this time Abdilia with a stare down that's my favorite to watch I have to say a stare down, stare down. <laughs> it's entertainment <laughs> I mean if there's anything that you know, that they can use to their advantage is that they're the OGs yeah, in this men's volleyball division in the Philippines. If you don't know me, well, <laughs> papa kilala ko yung sarili ko sa'yo. Even if they're down. Yeah, Even but they're down. just like that, Ramilo responds with his version of a one and done. Just getting the job done. Yep. Right? And the body language, very positive. Yes. Smiling. Exactly. Better pass from Maklang. Oh. See, we easily converted to a point. It all started with that perfect pass, a quick attack. We need more production from the middle blockers. Run up Delia serving 13 uh, to 15. Panganiban oh. goes down. Ball was up. 
but went out of bounds. Second technical timeout na po. Set number four. We'll be back after this. Watch the Spiker Surf live and in HD on demand as well via Filipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. Again, subscription lang po natin, 149 pesos a month. Available worldwide, so your friends and family natin, so U.S., San yes. pa, so Middle East. Yes. Madami tayong mga fans dyan ng volleyball. <laughs> Hikayatin nyo nang mag-download and mag-subscribe ng Pilipinas Live. The airman successfully getting the first point after that uh, technical timeout at the heart. Dina naman gumalaw from his spot. Passing has been really solid here for the Kabuyo Cab Stars. And the setter getting the job done because of the perfect passing. Maxino, better pass from Abdilia. Labrador, pinapos sa height. Good check ball there, Lopez. Maklang to Labrador once again. Denied. Good rebound there. Abdilia, back row. Good block touch there. At the heart, goes to the middle. Rejected. Jungle ball here. Lopez shouts for Tolentino. Gets hands there. Free ball. Maklang sets it up. Ramones, wow. <laughs> what a rally here! Ended by Panganiban. It's a team effort. Beautiful exchanges between both squads. Not allowing the ball to drop, but take a look at that last swing. Not the strongest of attacks, but just outsmarting the block of Air Force. And Z, what I did notice on Cab Stars, they're able to get a touch on the block, which is yeah, slowing down yeah, yeah. The, the offense. And they're, easy, they're able to get that first contact, that first dig. That's right. Down by five. This time, papatawag ng timeout. Uh, Rafi Mosuela and the rest of the airmen. Okay. Reminding uh, his men, uh, let's not make it too easy for yeah. our opponent. Because again, the first line of attack, medyo madali na para sa cab stars. Oh, sinabi ni Coach Rafi na lugaw na yung serve natin. So that's why they get they're able to convert. But don't look now. Six points up, courtesy of Magsino in that last serve. Getting the ace. Good pass from Abdilia. Lopez sets Tolentino. Tries to go around his blockers, yeah. but the net was there. You can see that, yeah. He was avoiding the hands of the blocker, but you got to be smart with your offense. He did try to avoid his blockers, but masyadong hulang, masyadong manipes. 
and that's have that's one thing that you've been mentioning kanina yung cab stars parang they're just trying to find fingers trying to find yep. hands up there trying to do them because when you look at points. both teams uh, air force is actually taller uh -huh. than cab stars so yeah, yeah. cab stars know that they have to really outsmart the blocking for sure Right, That's they're why. not the tallest. Yep, yep. And they get that advantage, especially when they make that perfect pass. Yes. It's dangerous. Just like that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was too low. Poor too execution, low. Yep. but good intention, though. Panganiban uh, hitting it straight to the net, but Adahar setting a little bit too low. Still alive, Philippine Air Force. 16 serving 21. You got uh, Ronset Villegas to serve. Centeno with that pass. <laughs> Doria. Tuling Ramones there. Medyo malayo sa net yung block ni Ramones. Yes. Let's see that one more time. I was just going to say that also. The timing was there, but it wasn't pressed the press. over the yep. net. 22, serving 16. Malaking kalamangan at steep hill to climb here for Philippine Air Force should they want to extend this match. Tongyo with that serve. Tolentino will try. Crossing the net, but... I believe they're going to call a but challenge. But getting a touch after getting the point. That's why first referee Yul Binosa awarding the point to Edwin Tolentino and the rest of the Air Force Airmen. Seventeen serving twenty-two. Coach Rafi saying we need to serve harder, but so far perfect passes. Net. Just but the this timing, time, right? Just the timing of the. Unforced errors. I think there was a net touch as well. Uh, yep. Yep. Net touch. Overreach and net touch. That last sequence. A little too. Medyo na pinanggigigilan na nila kasi yep. gusto ng gusto na nilang kumuha ng puntos. But you gotta stay calm. You gotta enjoy the game regardless. I mean, look at the cab stars. Despite the errors. Very chill. Still, yep. Very chill. <laughs> You got Ben Ocancheta subbing in for Ramones for that serve and back row defense. Good serve. Oh, good defense as well. Abdilia. Oh, catches the line. Centeno, though, was very confident that it was out. Asks his coach to call for a challenge. Ball in, ball out. As we wait for the results, Air Force still trying to catch up here with the Kabuyo Cab Stars. We're just enjoying their time here in the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference. One of the newbies who joins us in this last conference of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at their body language. They're pretty yep. confident, pretty secure. <laughs> With their 23 to 18 lead, five point lead. Make it or break it at this set number four, as our officials and technical committee are still making sure the right team is awarded with the point. Outside, that was super out. close. That was so close, though. Yeah. That wow. was really close. Inches. Good eye. 
<laughs> but <laughs> wow. successful challenge, meaning a point for the Kabuyao Cavsters, who's now playing for the match point here. 24 serving 18 with uh, Doria to serve. Ancheta, good first ball. Abdelia! Okay, that was inside. Hammer time. <laughs> Labrador and Lopez, though, checking in once again. Let's see if they can make a little run here, but uh, Kabuyao Cab Stars are only looking into a side out to win this match. Good pass. Good call there by the ref. Calling it right away. And now a timeout called by your cab stars. Okay. Oh, so, wala na yan. Wala na, wala na. Good pass lang, ha? good pass. I need good pass, ha? Para kang dimiskate, ko kang dibibigay. Oh, kailangan ko kila, kailangan ko kila. Ingit tayo, alas tayo. Again, calming the nerves of his players. Sabi nga niya, bawal na tayo magkamali, especially yep. pag ganito. Perfect volleyball. <laughs> That's right. Ang kailangan. So, para makauwi sila with a 2-0 record here in Pool B. Good pass there by Soriano. Middle attack, but manning the net really well was Kalasin for the Air Force Airmen. So the offense of Cap Stars is being easily read by yep. Air Force. Maxino read there really well. Ooh, and that's it. Your Kabuyo Cap Stars winning this very crucial match in four sets. Pretty much the same story as they play their first match, four sets. Look at that set once again. In between the block. Ramilo sealing their win in today's match against the Philippine Air Force Airmen in four sets. 25-22, 20-25, 25-21, and again 25-21. We'll be back for post-game matchups.
Wonderful evening, volleyball fans. This is the last game of your triple header. We're live here in Paco Arena, Manila. And just tonight, the Kabuyao Cab Stars dominated against the Airmen in sets 3 to 1 with the last set 25 to 21. And here with me is player of the game, none other than Oa Ramilo with 15 points, 14 attacks, and 1 8. Congratulations, Oa. At syempre, sinabi mo sa akin kanina sa dugout that you prepared well for this. Is, nakapag adjust na kayo sa court so kamusta tong pangalawa yung panalo um syempre po uh, unang una uh, nagpapasalamat kami kay Lord dahil binigay po sa amin tong panalo to and syempre po sa mga coaches po namin na kagabi po sa so, uh, <laughs> sa mga coaches po na na nagabay at na suporta po sa amin para po ibigay po tong panalo po at syempre, with that very, very close fourth set, paano yung nakuha yung panapos? Ano yung sinabi ninyo within your huddle to make sure that you get this end game? Um, um, kanina po kasi is nag-relax po kami nung second set, kaya po hindi po namin na kuha yung set na yon And sabi po namin, hindi pa tapos yung game, kaya kailangan pa namin mag-double time para taposin and end yung laro para hindi na po mag-fifth set, lahaba ang laro. <laughs> And you finished that game really, really well. Congratulations again, Owa. And to the rest of Kabuya, more exciting games this coming Sunday. That was Owa Ranilo with uh, Azure uh, player of the game with Alexis Dinsai. But let's look at what happened on uh, set, in set number four. James. That's right. In the fourth set, the Cab Stars were able to distribute the ball evenly. Mm. A lot of attacks from the middles. Ramilo scoring 15 points, 14 attacks, and on the side of Air Force, quite too ma many unforced errors. Right, right. Especially the timing of the unforced errors. They were not able to get that side out. The setting was great. Jesse Lopez was there, but too many attack errors right. specifically That's from right. Air Force. I remember one of that timeouts, Coach Rafi was saying, may naman problema natin yung atake. Yes. Let's take a look at the set for statistics. We see nine attacks from Air Only, Force, yeah. 13 from Cab Stars. Although 14, four blocks rather, three more than the Cab Stars. Same amount of opponent errors. Right, right. Three aces mm -hmm. from Cab Stars. So I think in terms of consistency, that is where Air Force needs to, that is where they need to work on. Definitely a lack of firepower to yes. sustain the momentum yep. that they got from winning set number two. But that's it. Your Kabuya Cup Stars just won in four sets against the Philippine uh, Air Force. And our games on Sunday, quadruple header here at the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center in Manila. You got St. Gerard Construction at 11 a.m. versus Davis Adamson at 1 p.m. We got Alpha Omega versus the Bayleaf Hotels at 3 p.m. You got the Philippine Army versus Ateneo Fudgy Bar. And last but not the least, you got MKA San Beda University against La Salle Eco Oil at 5 p.m. And that's it for today, you guys. Thank you for joining us for a fun Friday afternoon at the Spiker Surf Open Conference. This has been Zihar Basho with Jamie La Vittoria and Alexis Tinsai. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. See you on Sunday.